Welcome to Probably Nothing, the IOTA news of the last few days. I am Alexander and it feels like to calm before the storm. Tangle Bay has updated the Swarm Node software several times, so if you have or want to have a node, you can use it with Swarm and update to 2.5.6. And who thinks now, having a node is cool, but how to do it? Ayotina has made a special manual in German for this, which you can surely translate to other languages automatically. Let's stay with the updates. Firefly 2.0 has reached beta 4. There are no new features. This update deals exclusively with filters, small things and bug fixes. One could conclude that the stable version is getting closer and closer. Adam using Sooniverse managed 5 different transactions in one minute, showing how fast Shimmer will be in the future and how great the collaboration with Firefly is. Following that, Nicole reached out and asked if the team had any suggestions for the Blink functionality. And yesterday Nicole posted her goals for this week. Nicole is on fire as she wrote the following on Discord. Native token support is in the testing and optimization phase. The main feature still pending is Deep Link support for native tokens. Ledger support is progressing, but there is still work to be done on the front end. Shimmer Rewards application is approaching the testing phase and it is mainly optimization, tweaks and edge cases that need to be addressed. NFT development is paused for a while, while half of the time of the team puts mobile into production. Version 2 release 1 is being worked on by the other half of the team to get the app into a publishable state. Once the first version of version 2 is released, we'll move forward with NFT support etc. TanglePay is also giving its wallet an update 1.3.9. The update is preparing for Shimmer. With this version the beta is there to deposit Shimmer on the wallet. However, you can't deposit anything yet. More small improvements have been made here as well. This update also tells us that the release is getting closer and closer. Last update makes Hornet with beta 5. If someone uses the beta should urgently update this. For those who want to support probably nothing, be it with NFTs, Patreon or with an IOTA donation, can now do so with IOTA membership. Members have interesting benefits, link in the description. A huge news came out on the 11th of August from Gold Standard. They published on their website an article titled Gold Standard and Partners Begin Work to Define the Future of the Digital Carbon Market. The IOTA Foundation is the partner of Gold Standard as well as ClimbCheck. The IOTA content creator DAO has published several interesting articles, among them and an interview between IOTA India and Kumar from the IOTA Foundation. Also they present a small insight of their website. Here the projects are tracked and their development. It looks good and probably makes it easier for everyone to keep track of the many projects. Kim Jong Unwrecked posted an interesting list of block data on Twitter. On it you can see big investors and their biggest positions in cryptocurrencies. And look closely everyone, no one invests in Bitcoin and Ethereum. Instead quite a few unknown projects that no one knows. And one in particular stands out. <laughs> Probably nothing. Amnesia Cash also posts a new blog article about accountability. Since Amnesia Cash is a new project, some of you might know to know more information about it. That's why he can check out the little blog article. The team is trying to build trust. The assembly staking reached the 50% mark and distributes over 183 million ASMB to date. There are over 60 days left to participate in the staking. Soon Labs welcome a new developer, none other than Ben Royce. He will work on KYC and the social media module. The Soon committee is also getting a new member, IOTA Ben. And an hour ago they published a new blog article about this very committee, which of course has been updated with a new edition. Also the committee wants to recruit more people on every front. Also they show a taste of what is being developed. DEX, DEX aggregator, field vault, DeFi loan, social media, DID, KYC, NFT authentication and more. Scylla gives an insight into how IOTA uses their database. For those who would like to know how the backup and chronicle works and where the benefits of Scylla are, you can check out the article and video of their website. 
Philo has unveiled a new Shimmer governance framework with the whole governance team. The whole thing has become a manifesto and is covered by me in a separate video where I summarize the essentials as desired. Post it in the comments if you want something like that or not. Stefan Braun has refined his big project Tangled PHP. He published a new website and divides his project into categories to keep the overview better. Wayne Brains, actually known for NFTs, wrote on Twitter that they now want to develop a social media platform. Let's see what it will be. There is no much information at that moment. Moonvolt had a talk on the weekend. Do so miss it can now listen to it to on Twitter. The UK and the Brexit is giving IOTA a chance as tariffs have exploded since the Brexit. That's why they have unveiled a new scheme on how to lower tariffs. The DCTS Developing Countries Trading Scheme will come into effect in 2023 and is expected to cut costs by the 750 million per pounds per year. IOTA has shown with Kenya how well this system works and the DCTS is expected to cover 65 countries. The full article is linked below. Dominic Schiener shared a link from a blog article published by Today titled Public Blockchains Evolved Iteratively from general applications to specific scenarios. Which public blockchains will prevail in the next bull run? From LD Capital. In this article, IOTA 2.0 and Assembly are often mentioned in the context that the blockchains or DLTs mentioned are the future. That's it for this episode. See you in the next time. Bye bye.